Hi, welcome to Keto Catherine. During the pandemic, my husband and I started keto. And between the two of us, we lost over 160 pounds and have kept it off for two years. My friends have asked me to start sharing the recipes that we've used for our keto living. So I've started this YouTube page. I must preference this with saying, I'm not a keto expert. I have no dietary training. These are just recipes that my husband and I use and have been able to maintain our keto living for well over two years. So thank you for watching. Today, sticking with the summertime theme, for those of you who have a sweet tooth, I know I do, you think, oh, I can't do keto because I, I, I can't go without the sugar. Well, I'm going to tell you monk fruit is amazing. And for those of you who love key lime, this is an amazing recipe. When you weren't eating keto, I know you use sweetened condensed milk and you're thinking, oh my gosh, how can I ever replace that? Well, in keto you can. So today I'm going to start off with our key lime bars. We're gonna do three different sessions. We're going to do sweetened condensed milk, one and a quarter cups of heavy cream, half a cup, granulated sugar, monk fruit, not sugar but people don't know the difference, your friends. Half a teaspoon, vanilla, xanthan gum for later, and two tablespoons of butter. Put it all in a saucepan and heat until it boils. And once it starts to boil, turn it down and simmer it. Okay, so now you've let this simmer for 45 minutes to an hour. As you can see, it's gotten thicker. And now add your xanthan gum and make sure you mix it really well. And this will help thicken it up even more. Now that you've mixed in the xanthan gum, let it sit for one hour to cool before putting it into your key lime mixture. Okay, so while the condensed milk is uh, simmering, I start to make the keto crust. Put your oven on 350, preheat. And I really love using the food processor because I really think that it combines all of the ingredients well. One and a half cups, almond flour, half a cup of granulated monk fruit, one tablespoon of ground flaxseed. I use the flaxseed because it helps bind the crust together. And then I just use a pinch of salt. I mix this together in the food processor. Take a little spatula. Make sure it's all mixed well together. And then I used chilled Irish butter. And then I use the Irish because it's very keto friendly. And I'm looking for my knife. I lost my knife. Here it is. <laughs> Cut it into little cubes. So again, need to make sure it's really chilled. It's as if you were making when before you were keto, when you were making pie crust and you wanted it flaky, you use the chilled butter. And I will say the Irish butter does melt a lot easier. So again, don't bring it out until you're ready to use. Go ahead and pulse. And when you're watching it, you'll see it's starting to go together. And pretty soon you'll end up with a big ball. And I know some people want to use the pastry dough cutter for the butter, but I really do find that the food processor is the best way to do this. And as you can see, there we go. We've got our ball of dough. Okay, so now you have your ball of dough. Prepare a baking dish that is oven friendly and square nine by nine. 
press the dough in the bottom of it and cook anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes. You want to wait until it starts turning brown. This way, when you finish cooking, it will be stable enough to hold the key lime. Okay, so now I'm checking on my crust. I'm looking to see, and yes, it is now brown. Now I'm going to cool it for 30 minutes. Okay, so now we're ready for the filling, the best part, the key lime. Take half a cup of key lime juice. Make sure that when you buy the key lime juice that you look at the ingredients and make sure that there's no carbs, no added sugar. It's just pure key lime. Four egg yolks. Your condensed condensed sweetened milk, which it usually makes about one and a quarter cups. I use it all. And four ounces of cream cheese. Mix well. Scrape. Blend well. Here we have our completed crust. And again, make sure that the cream cheese is really softened. It helps speed up the process. Okay, so now that we've got everything mixed, it's mixed really well, go ahead and take the key lime filling, pour it into the crust. And again, make sure that, you know, the cream cheese is blended well, sweet and condensed milk is blended well. And I'm crazy. I like to really scrape the bowl because I love the key lime part. And now with the oven still at 350 from the pie crust or the bar crust, however you want to put it, go ahead and put it in the oven and watch it for 15 to 20 minutes. You're looking to make sure that it doesn't get too brown on the edges. So 15 to 20 minutes, make sure you check on it. So while your key lime bars are cooking, Go ahead and zest the lime. And we're just going to use this more for decoration, a little bit of flavor. And when you're zesting, make sure you don't get too much of the white part because then that becomes really bitter. So now, check your key lime bars. And as you can see, it's still a little loose in the center. So I'm going to put it back in. This was 15 minutes. I'm going to put it back in for five more minutes. Okay, so now after 20 minutes, your key lime is done. And as you can see, when you take it out, that it's a little brown around the edges. You don't want to get it too brown, but you do want to have it a little bit of brown. Now I'm going to top it off for some decoration. Some fun lime zest. That way people can honestly see that it is key lime. And this is really important. You need to chill this for at least one hour before you decide to cut it. Otherwise, it doesn't sit right. I don't know a better way of saying that. I don't know a technical term for that. But definitely make sure it chills for at least one hour. I recommend a little bit more because first of all, the colder they are, the better they taste. But please enjoy your key lime bars for our summertime barbecue series. Thank you for watching. Please, please subscribe. And here you go. This is keto.